Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Just wanted to pass along some information uh, that I received today, and then there was also a couple of other interesting stories out there are coming out uh, earlier this afternoon. And uh, the first one is an email that I received from a viewer, and uh, this viewer works uh, for the USDA Farm Service Agency, uh, the FSA, and they received an email uh, from the USDA Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. Now this email was asking if farmers in their region uh, are experiencing propane shortages. Okay, and the email went kind of like this. Uh, the email stated that FEMA reached out to let me know uh, that they are anticipating possible shortages coming soon. I haven't had any reports of propane shortages in my area yet. However, I have had several farmers tell me that fertilizer and other herbicides are hard to find. And if they are lucky enough to find it, the price is five times what it was a year ago. So just wanted to pass this along, uh, this information that uh, you need to get, you know, Get some extra propane if you can. Uh, it's probably still available. I know I picked up an extra tank here not too long ago. There weren't a lot of them sitting out there, uh, but uh, check it out as well. We get most of our stuff from Tractor Supply uh, and sometimes Walmart. But uh, keep in mind as well that, uh, like this email stated, uh, the fertilizer and all the things that farmers need, uh, you know, if the, the prices just keep uh, going up said five times what it was last year that's going to make the food prices uh, even higher than what we're seeing right now and uh, you know we're already seeing uh, inflation like crazy and uh, I believe we're just seeing the start of it y'all I really do uh, let me know what you think about that but I really think we're just starting to see uh, the, the rising prices of food and uh, and fuel as well and I know people are talking about uh, gasoline prices really shooting up there and getting up into the the seven eight seven to ten dollar a gallon uh, range here in the United States can you imagine that and I know you folks out there out on the west coast uh, northeast uh, are, are seeing north of five dollars uh, a gallon as well and I know Canada some Canadians uh, on the channel I know they're seeing uh, rising prices too uh, so so keep that in mind I know it's difficult to store a lot of gasoline uh, but it may not hurt to grab a, a few uh, cans a few uh, five five gallon cans fill them up make sure you put a stabilizer in there in there and the, on the gasoline to keep it good so um, so yeah I just wanted to let you know that also I saw a story uh, out there uh, said that BP, British Petroleum, is issuing a warning saying that uh, they are anticipating a tight, quote unquote, uh, gas market for the rest of this year uh, as demand ramps up uh, through uh, going into this winter. They also mentioned that their profits are, are uh, almost at record levels. No kidding, really. <laughs> we'll never guess that. But anyway, uh, so the price is, in other words, price is just going to keep going up. Uh, so that's wonderful. Uh, not so. Uh, I did check the prices. I was curious about this propane, so uh, I went on uh, the website for Tractor Supply and looked up some prices currently. So as of today, uh, the propane cylinders, the little one-pound uh, propane cylinders, are you can buy two of them, a pair, for ten dollars right now. Uh, currently, the 20 pound propane tank that they sell is $50, $55 for a 20 pound tank right now. And I know several weeks ago when we were picking up some things there at Tractor Supply, it was, I, I picked up an extra 20 pound tank then and it was 40, I believe, 40, 41 dollars uh, at that time. That's just been a few weeks ago, keeps going up. Uh, also, the refill for that tank at that time was 17, or the fill, no, the fill of the tank was uh, 17 dollars so not sure what it is now it's probably gone up it might be over 20 dollars now so uh, prepare for that now like i said if you can grab some extra also saw a story that china's government 
is urging, this came out today, China's government is urging local authorities to ensure adequate supply of food uh, to go through the winter for the population. It's also encouraging its citizens to stock up on the essentials, food and medicines. So that raised some concerns. I mean, the government's telling people to do that there. So uh, this, like I said, this is uh, raising a lot of red flags, a lot of concerns out there, uh, linking it to a resurgence of the pandemic. Uh, it said that over half of the mainland's uh, provinces are, are, are already going through another, other lockdown, additional lockdowns and such and uh, also uh, rising tensions with Taiwan. So it makes you wonder what is going on? What else is planned? What's the next thing? You know, what's the next crisis? It just keeps on going, right? I don't think it's ever going to stop. Share your thoughts on that one. But again, like I said, uh, main message, uh, keep, keep prepping, keep, keep stacking, uh, topping off uh, your preps, your food, uh, your medicines, your over-the-counter medicines, especially anything like that. Uh, fuel, alternative uh, fuel and propane, of course. And also keep stocking up on some Jesus. It's free. It's free to stack up. Stack, stack up, stock up on Jesus as well. Let's keep praying. Let's keep him close. Uh, he is the provider. He's with us every step of the way and never leaves us. And always will. Always will. To the end. God bless you. I'll see you soon.